Welcome to QC, where leading technology puts home security in your hands. We're glad you're here because today we're going to help you set up your new QC Analog HD security system so you can start taking advantage of all the great features that QC offers. So let's begin. Step one, registration. First of all, please join the QC family by registering your new device on the QC support portal to receive advantages such as regular updates on products, support for your device, and a record of your purchasing preferences so that we may be of greater assistance to you. Once you're registered, you won't have to provide proof of purchase for services, but we still do recommend that you make sure to keep a record of your model number and save your hardcover quick start guide that came with your purchase for future technical or warranty support. So if you're ready to assemble your new security system? Let's get to it. Step 2. Connect your cameras. In setting up your new system, you'll first need to connect your cameras. Please double check to make sure that you have received all of the components listed on the What's Included section of your product's packaging. Please also be sure to connect the cameras and set up your DVR before mounting cameras or installing hardware. Plug the power cable into the camera. Plug the BNC connector, camera only, then twist and lock the end of the BNC cable to secure the connection. Next, connect the BNC connector, DVR only, into the back of the DVR as shown. Twist and lock each end of the BNC cable to secure the connections. Connect the power cable, DVR only, into one of the available ends of the four-way splitter as shown. Connect the female end of the power splitter into the adapter as shown in the image. As your guide states, please repeat steps A through D for each camera. Step 3. Connect DVR to display. You have two options to connect the DVR to a display. One is through an HDMI connection. Option A. HDMI. Plug the included HDMI cable into the DVR's HDMI port. Connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the monitor or TV. Plug the monitor or TV into a surge protector. The other option is through a VGA connection. Option B. VGA monitor. Plug the VGA cable into the DVR's VGA port. Please note that this cable is not included and that VGA might not support full high definition output. Connect the other end of the VGA cable to the monitor. A 19 inch monitor or larger is highly recommended. Plug the monitor into a surge protector. Step four, connect the mouse. Next, plug the included mouse into the USB port on the back of the DVR. If your model has two USB ports on the back, either one will work. Now you'll need to connect your router. Step 5. Connect to the router. Plug the included network Ethernet cable into the LAN network port on the back of the DVR. Then connect the other end of the cable to an open port on your router. You will hear a click when the cable is properly connected. The router is not included with this purchase. Step 6. Powering up the DVR and cameras. Now you can power up the DVR and cameras. Plug the DVR power supply cord into the DC port on the back of your DVR. Plug the DVR power supply or power adapter into a surge protector. This is not included with your DVR. Now plug the camera power supply into a surge protector. You will hear a faint clicking sound when power is activated. Next, turn on the DVR's power switch if your model has one located on the back of the DVR. It may beep as it powers up. The startup wizard will appear on screen after a few minutes. Next, you'll need to complete the startup wizard to configure your DVR. Step seven, startup wizard. From startup wizard page, click on next step to begin. Set the current date and time and click next step. Click on email set to add an email address. When asked for login credentials, use the default username admin and default password admin. Next, enter your email address, select a security question, and provide an answer. Click on Test and check to see if you have received an email with the authorization code. Enter the authorization code from the email you received and click OK. Now check the Modify Password box to change the existing default password, which is admin. Make sure to write down your new password for future reference. Next, click Next Step to start remote monitoring setup. 
When you see that the network connection is successfully established, click Next Step. If the connection is not successful, power off the DVR and go through all of step seven again. If you still have problems, check www.q-c.com forward slash support for additional troubleshooting options. Then select local and internet to connect your DVR remotely. To set up your free QC View mobile app to your mobile device, follow the next three steps. Step eight, setting up the QC View mobile app. Download our free QC View mobile app to your mobile device, available for both Android and iOS. Do not log into the app yet. Select your desired mobile device and click Next Step. Follow the steps you see here to set up your mobile device, which takes you to the live preview screen. Download the QC View app from the App Store on your mobile device. Launch the app on your device. Select the Menu button in the top left corner, followed by Device Manager. In Device Manager, Click the plus sign to add a new device. Select Wired Device and create a name for your camera. Then tap the QR code icon in the SN field and then scan the QR code located on the top of your DVR. Once the QR code has been scanned, complete the remaining username and password fields. Once your device has been added successfully, select Start Live Preview to view the feed from your camera. Your camera has been set up successfully. You can now access your camera feed anytime and anywhere using the QC View app. Now click Next Step. Uncheck the Startup box and click OK. That's it. You should be all set up to operate your QC Analog HD system in your home or business environment. Please refer to your quick start guide included with your purchase to learn how to set up your QC view on your computer. Thank you for being a valued QC customer, and we hope you have enjoyed this instructional video for your new device. If you have additional questions, please visit us at www.q-c.com forward slash support.